Welcome traders to the TradingView YouTube channel. My name is Stuart and today I will be giving you an educational tutorial on the MACD indicator. And that stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. So in this video today, I'm going to show you what the MACD is, how to set it up, how to read it. So to begin with, what we need to do is get it up on our chart. As you can see here, I do have the Tesla chart on the screen on the daily time frame. So we need to navigate our way up here to this area where it says indicators, top of the screen, hit indicators, and we open this box. Once that box is open, you need to type in MACD and you'll see here displayed moving average convergence divergence. We need to select that and it will appear now at the bottom of your chart. Just to point out, you can hit the star button and that will basically add it into your favorites. But while we are here, I do want to highlight that there is an abundance of resources and indicators and strategies for you to come in and utilize, backtest and implement into your strategy maybe right now. So please do come back in here and check out some of the other tools and resources that we do have because there literally is something for everyone. Um, you, we also have here, like down in community, editors pick. So this is everything that's been picked by the editors team, you have everything here that's been basically ranked in order of how many boosts it's received, um, what's trending, and of course, the new TradingView store. So there's every reason to come back in here and utilize some of these resources. But in the meantime, we're going to focus on the MACD. And we're going to begin with talking about what the MACD is. So at its core, the MACD measures the relationship between two exponential moving averages of a assets price in this case tesla so it's displayed as an oscillator uh, beneath the price chart as you can see and it consists of two main components so we have two lines here one is blue one is amber the blue one blue line is the macd that's the heart of the indicator and it's calculated by subtracting the 26 period ema from the 12 period ema okay and that line represents the short term momentum OK, I'm just going to double click so we can make it bigger and more clearer on your screen. Now, the signal line, on the other hand, is the amber line here. Uh, this is a nine period EMA. OK, and this line acts as a trigger for buy and sell signals. So the histogram, OK, which is obviously here sitting in between the zero line. Represents the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. So it makes it a little bit easier to spot the changes in momentum. So we are going to look at how to use the MACD for our trading. So the MACD generates signals through crossovers. OK, and as seen in this Tesla chart, you know, it can provide Let me just go back. It can provide a clear indication of entry and exit points for long and short trades. So we're just going to scroll this down a little bit and we can see here, for example, at these crossover points when we look at the MACD and these crosses and you can see how that momentum is slowly dying off here and then you can see the momentum obviously changing. So the two primary methods for using the MACD are the crossover strategy and the center line crossover. So this crossover strategy, um, which is uh, quite a common uh, strategy to use, uh, that works by when you are looking for a bullish market, you know, the MACD line will cross above the single line. So I'm going to make that a little bigger so that we can see it really clearly. So we can see a few examples um, here. So we can see down here, for example, the MACD line is this blue line. And when it's made that cross over that signal line and we look also at the momentum, we can see here, you know, gradually that momentum is starting to die out. We're coming up above the signal line, of course, and you can see also reflected in the oscillator, the rising momentum uh, for that move uh, to the upside. The opposite of that, of course, is when the MACD line crosses below the signal line. So we can see an example of that here where the MACD line crosses below that signal line and thus you can see again reflected in the uh, momentum indicator. Now the center line crossover to see a bullish trend, 
you know, the MACD line will cross above the zero and that will indicate that the short term average has moved above the long term average. OK, and that confirms that upward momentum. And uh, obviously a bearish trend of that is when the MACD line, uh, again, the blue line, uh, that crosses below the zero. So the zero I'm referring to is over here in the scale. Um, and this will indicate the short term momentum has turned negative. Now, when we look at the histogram, OK, to see strengthening momentum, you know, the histogram bars, they get taller, as you can see in this example. And obviously, when we get weaker, they get shorter. So a change in the histogram's direction can often be an early warning of an upcoming line uh, cross over. Um, and, you know, as an, uh, an example, you can see how these uh, bars, you know, have become taller and taller. And then if we look up into the price, we can see how price has also shifted to the upside. So a key strength of the MACD is its flexibility. You know, it can be applied to any time frame from one minute charts. Uh, if you're a day trader to a weekly or monthly charts for long term uh, investors. The standard settings are 12, 26 and 9 periods. They can be adjusted to suit your trading style and strategy. The MACD's indicator's power comes from being above the zero on this main line. So this occurs, you know, when the short term moving average is above, it signals that the trend is bullish. And when the MACD is below uh, below this line, below the zero, sorry, uh, this will indicate a bearish or or, or maybe sideways uh, sideways uh, trend. Like you can see here, how we've uh, basically been in this kind of like sideways um, uh, price action. Now the theory is simple, uh, but trading with the MACD does require a, a skill to filter out the false signals. Okay, so. It is a lagging indicator. The MACD is based on past prices. So when it comes to, for example, a choppy market or sideways or volatile, volatile markets, you know, the MACD, you know, it's going to produce crossovers that are going to lead to basically nothing and potential losses. So the solution is using the MACD with a confirmation. Um, so you wouldn't really rely on the MACD alone. Um, you have to confirm its signals with other tools, whether those tools be anything like, um, for example, keeping it simple, trend lines, whether that be using certain fibs for confluence. Um, that's what you would uh, use as a confirmation. Um, the MACD crossover is far more powerful if it occurs when the price breaks out of a trading range. OK, so when it breaks out of that trading range or of a key off a key, key excuse me, trend line. Now, um, with regards to your trading style, the MACD can work with any trading style. So you will just have to check out the settings here and basically amend whatever settings you feel appropriate um, for your particular strategy. Um, by practicing and developing uh, with the MACD, you know, you can improve your edge and you can make your trading more profitable and definitely less stressful. But like I say, I do encourage you to use with confirmation. So that's going to draw this uh, video to an end. Thank you for viewing. Please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And I will see you in the next video.